Questions tonight over the shooting death of a young Detroit man by a federal agent. Was that shooting justified or perhaps is it a crime? The attorney for the young man's family revealing today Terrence Kellum was shot once in the back. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner joins us live in front of that federal agent's office in Detroit on the east side there. Jim, what can you tell us about this today? The agent involved in this is with ICE. He is Mitchell Quinn. He remains on administrative leave, and there are three investigations associated with this case. First off, an internal federal investigation into procedures. Then Detroit Police, Michigan State Police conducted a criminal investigation, and the third review is independent of all of that by the Wayne County Prosecutor. A lot of people watching this, and they're getting a little concerned about the time. They've been here before. They came back this afternoon. This is ICE headquarters. On the east side, they came here seeking answers. I believe from the very beginning that they weren't being transparent about what was going on, and that's why we came down here last week, and that's and why we're here, here today. It happened on April 27th here on Evergreen on Detroit's west side. Terrence Kellum was being arrested by the fugitive apprehension team when police say he ran at a federal agent with a hammer. Kellum's family disputes that. ICE agent Mitchell Quinn shot several times and killed Kellum. Kellum was a suspect in an armed robbery of a pizza delivery man. Yes. He was shot in the back, yes. He was shot in the back. Yes. The Kellum family attorney says he saw the body at a funeral home and took pictures. The autopsy has been sealed by the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, saying its release could impede the investigation. If this was an open and shut case, that this, this uh, explanation of the officer that he was coming at her with a hammer, that makes no sense whatsoever. So they're going to have to come up with something else. Detroit police and Michigan State Police conducted the criminal investigation, turned over their findings on Wednesday. The case is getting a third look by the Wayne County prosecutor, who would not comment today on the shooting evidence. The attorney for Agent Quinn says he has not seen the Kellum autopsy, but said it is possible Kellum was shot in the back as he fell. And the Kellum family attorney is trying to manipulate this. Detroit has officers on the fugitive team and as part of the criminal investigation. I'm not going to pass judgment, uh, but we know when a person is shot several times, there could be wounds to the front, there could be some to the back. Just depends. I'm not going to go into this. Our community leaders say they are running out of patience and this should be wrapped up within a week, but the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office will not put a timetable on this. I'm live on the east side, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Jim.